In this lecture, we will review the various types of parenting styles and child outcomes. In pioneering research, Diana Brumrid in 1971 identified three parenting styles: authoritarian, authoritative, and permissive. Eleanor Maccabee and John Martin in 1983 added a fourth parenting style: neglectful or uninvolved. I will review all four in detail. But first, some important terms to know: discipline, methods of molding children's character and the teaching of them to exercise self-control and engage in acceptable behavior. Corporal punishment, the use of physical force with the intention of causing pain by not injury, so as to correct or control behavior. Inductive techniques, discipline techniques designed to induce desirable behavior by appealing to a child's sense of reason and fairness. Power assertion. Disciplinary strategy designed to discourage undesirable behavior through physical or verbal enforcement of parental control. Withdrawal of love. Disciplinary strategy that involves ignoring and isolating or showing dislike for a child. Now, according to Morin, your parenting style can affect. Everything from your child's self-esteem and physical health to how they relate to others. It is important to ensure your parenting style is supported healthy growth and development, because the way you interact with your child and how you discipline them will influence them for the rest of their life. As stated earlier, researchers have identified four main types of parenting styles: authoritarian, authoritative, permissive, and uninvolved. As I review these, please do not confuse authoritarian and authoritative parenting styles, as most students tend to confuse the two. Okay, so. Each style takes a different approach to raising children, offers different pros and cons, and can be identified by a number of different characteristics. People often want to know which parenting style is the best and which parenting style they are using on their kids. Well, the truth is that there is no one right way to parent, but the general parenting style that most experts, including the American Academy of Pediatrics, recommend is the authoritative approach. I usually tell my students, "Okay, authoritarian, bad. Authoritative, which is T I V E at the end." Good. Again, a lot of students confuse the two because it's similar in spelling. Let's start off with the authoritarian parenting style. Okay. So, do any of these statements sound like you or somebody else you know? You believe kids should be seen and not heard. When it comes to rules, you believe it's my way or the highway. You don't take your child's feelings into consideration if any of those ring true you might be an authoritarian parent authoritarian parents believe kids should follow the rules without exception authoritarian parents are famous for saying because i said so when a child questions the reasons behind a rule They're not interested in negotiating and their focus is on obedience. They also don't allow kids to get involved in problem-solving challenges or obstacles. Instead, they make the rules and enforce the consequences with little regard for a child's opinion. Authoritarian parents may use punishments instead of discipline. So, 
Rather than teach a child how to make better choices, they're invested in making kids feel sorry for their mistakes. Children who grow up with strict authoritarian parents tend to follow rules much of the time, but their obedience comes at a price. Children of authoritarian parents are at higher risk for developing self-esteem problems because their opinions aren't valued. They may also become hostile or aggressive. Rather than think about how to do things better in the future, they often focus on the anger they feel towards their parents or themselves for not living up to parental expectations. Some authoritarian parents are often strict. Their children may grow to become good liars in an effort to avoid punishment. Most researchers believe that this is the worst parenting style. Now, moving on to what most researchers believe is the best, it's the authoritative, T-I-V-E, parenting style. Now, do any of these statements sound like you or sound like someone you know? You put a lot of effort into creating and maintaining a positive relationship with your child. You explain the reasons behind your rules. You set limits enforce rules and give consequences, but take your child's feelings into consideration. If those statements sound familiar, you may be an authoritative parent. Authoritative parents have rules and they use consequences, but they also take their child's opinions into account. They validate their children's feelings while also making it clear that the adults are ultimately in charge. This is the approach backed by research and experts as the most developmentally healthy and effective parenting style. Authoritative parents invest time and energy into preventing behavior problems before they start. They also use positive discipline strategies to reinforce positive behavior, like praise and a reward system. Please view my learning video lecture on positive rewards versus punishment. Researchers have found kids who have authoritative parents are most likely to become responsible adults who feel comfortable self-advocating and expressing their opinions and feelings. Children raised with authoritative discipline tend to be happy and successful. They're also more likely to be good at making sound decisions and evaluating safety risks on their own. Now, to review, according to the American Psychological Association, with the authoritative parenting style, the parents are nurturing, responsive, and supportive, yet set firm limits for their children. They attempt to control children's behavior by explaining rules, discussing, and reasoning. They listen to a child's viewpoint, but don't always accept it. And children raised with this style tend to be friendly, energetic, cheerful, self-reliant, self-controlled, curious, cooperative, and achievement-oriented. Now let's move on to the permissive parenting style. Do any of these statements sound like you or somebody you know? You set rules but rarely enforce them. You don't give out consequences very often. You think your child will learn best with little interference from you. If those statements sound familiar, you might be a permissive parent. Permissive parents are lenient. They often only step in if there's a serious problem. 
They're quite forgiven and they adopt the attitude of kids will be kids. When they do use consequences, they may not make those consequences stick. They might give privileges back if a child begs or they may allow a child to get out of time out early if they promise to be good. Permissive parents usually take on more of a friend role than a parent role. They often encourage their children to talk with them about their problems, but they usually don't put much effort into discouraging poor choices or bad behaviors. Kids who grow up with permissive parents are more likely to struggle academically. They may exhibit more behavioral problems as they don't appreciate authority and rules. They may often have low self-esteem and may report a lot of sadness. They're also at higher risk for health problems like obesity because permissive parents struggle to limit unhealthy food intake or promote regular exercise or healthy sleep habits. They are even more likely to have dental cavities because permissive parents often don't enforce good habits like ensuring a child brushes their teeth. To review, according to the American Psychological Association, in this parenting style, which is permissive, parents are warm but lax. They fail to set limits to monitor their children's activities closely or to require appropriately mature behavior in their children. Children raised with this parenting style tend to be impulsive, rebellious, aimless, domineering, aggressive, and low in self-reliance, self-control, and achievement. Now let's move on to the uninvolved parenting style. Do any of these statements sound familiar? You don't ask your child about school or homework. You rarely know where your child is or who they are with. You don't spend much time with your child. If those statements sound familiar, you might be an uninvolved parent. Uninvolved parents tend to have little knowledge of what their children are doing. There tend to be few rules in the household. Children may not receive much guidance, nurturing, and parental attention. Uninvolved parents expect children to raise themselves. They don't devote much time or energy into meeting children's basic needs. Uninvolved parents may be neglectful, but it's not always intentional. A parent with mental health issues or substance abuse problems, for example, may not be able to care for a child's physical or emotional needs on a consistent basis. At other times, Uninvolved parents lack knowledge about child development, or they may believe that their child will do better without their oversight. And sometimes they're simply overwhelmed with other problems, like work or paying bills and managing a household. Children with uninvolved parents are likely to struggle with self-esteem issues. They tend to perform poorly in school. They also exhibit frequent behavior problems and rank low in happiness. To review, according to the American Psychological Association, the uninvolved parenting style, parents are unresponsive, unavailable, and rejected. Children raised with this parenting style tend to have low self-esteem and little self-confidence and seek other, sometimes inappropriate, role models to substitute for the neglectful parent. Now, let us review some final words regarding parenting styles. According to Morin, there's no such thing as perfect parenting. Sometimes, parents don't fit into just one category. 
So don't despair if there are times or areas where you tend to be permissive or uninvolved and other times when you are more authoritative. It is hard to maintain consistence when balancing life and parenting. Don't engage in parent guilt or shame. That's not going to be helpful for anyone, not for you or not for your child. The studies are clear, however, that authoritative parenting is the best parenting style. But even if you tend to identify with other parenting styles more, there are steps you can take to become more authoritative. With dedication and commitment to being the best parent you can be, you can maintain a positive relationship with your child while still establishing your authority in a healthy manner. And over time, your child will reap the benefits of your authoritative parenting style.